In part one, we looked at how to complete the square. So you should already know the process to follow. But if you've forgotten, watch that video first. In this video, we're going to look at how to use completing the square to solve quadratics. And then in part three, we're going to look at how to use completing the square to plot quadratics. So let's jump straight in with an example. It doesn't factorise, so that means we either need to use a quadratic formula or complete the square. For this video, we'll use completing the square. So half of 14 is 7, and 7 squared is 49, so subtract 49, and we get this. Now for solving. Rearrange by adding 19 to both sides, and we get x plus 7 squared equals 19. Square root both sides, and because square rooting a square cancels out, we're left with x plus 7 equals plus or minus the square root of 19. We're nearly there with the solving. Subtract 7 from both sides and we get x equals negative 7 plus or minus square root 19. And we have our two answers. Before I give you one to do yourself, if we'd factored out a number like 3, you'd just carry on solving in the normal way. So here's one for you to do. Remember to start by factoring out 5 from the 5x squared and the negative 15x. Pause the video, complete the square and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get it right? So there you have solving quadratics by completing the square. In part three, we're going to look at plotting quadratics onto a graph using completing the square. It gives us just an extra little bit of information, more than what factorising does.